Hi, I'm Arif Fahrudin. Welcome to Asian Agribiz Podcast, bringing you interviews and updates for the animal protein community throughout Asia from a trusted and dedicated provider of news, information, and market intelligence. Our correspondent based in Vietnam, Ha Tu, is speaking to Dao Ha Trung about the role of blockchain technology in controlling livestock diseases and food safety. Dr. Trung is co-founder and chairman of TE Food International, provider of farm-to-table food traceability system based on blockchain technology. Hello, Dr. Trung. Thank you for accepting the talk in this podcast. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How's your pet? We was were quite busy with uh, COVID-19. COVID? Yes, I've heard that you're launching an application that allows COVID traceability. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we are very proud that the T-Food is one of the very active fighter against the pandemic COVID-19. Our application uh, name Just One, based on blockchain, is using in many countries now for controlling the sport events, airport, airlines, cruise line, mass testing, and vaccination events. So uh, until now, just one is uh, most widely used a COVID-19 passport. But uh, not much people know all of that uh, of his story starting since uh, 2018, when we start to fight uh, again uh, ASF. Yes, you told me that TE Food also worked on controlling ASF when it broke out in Vietnam. Could you tell me more about that? Actually, my team applied blockchain technology uh, for livestock and epidemic management since 2018 and piloted together with uh, FAO, United Nations, uh, General Statistics Office of Vietnam and Livestock Production Department of March of Vietnam. When we got the information about the ASF happened in China, we start to improve our system we have received the strong support uh, from Holland, Belgium, Hungary, Brazil, Australia experts, and especially from the people in big industry who have had very rich experiences with uh, ASF in China. After that, we offer our service as a charity activity to Vietnam and Laos governments. How has it been helping the industry so far? You know, for all kinds of the disease, the critical importance is to recognize the epidemic very quickly, follow the action to control it in order to stop the spreading of epidemic, and to support farmer in compensation the loss. Besides that, uh, our system is able to give farmer the biosecurity information and can control animal movement, cleaning process for farms and vehicles and control the waiting time for raising pig again. So uh, we do believe that our system is really useful for both uh, farmers and authorities. Can you tell us a little bit about TE food activities in global market? Today, TE food has a representative in 21 countries. Our traceability system is applied in all continentals for all kinds of the food, fresh and processing food. For example, in South America for sugar and eggs, in Canada for beer and vegetable, in EU for cattle, chicken, egg, vegetable, honey, soft drink, fish, in Vietnam for organic milk, fruit, vegetable, coffee, rice. We work with big international retail chain like Aushan in more than eight uh, countries, Migros in Switzerland and Vietnam uh, with all supermarkets like AE Own, Big C, Lotte Mark, Coop, Vinmark. Could you tell us about the TE food program that has been applied to Ho Chi Minh City's food safety control program? Ho Chi Minh City uh, traceability system is the uh, biggest farm to table digital traceability system based on blockchain until now. It uh, has started in the end of 2016 by Ho Chi Minh City government to fight against water pumping and illegal using drugs for pig. The system collects information about farm capacity, the managers, 
as well as real-time information about livestock, use drugs, feeding, vaccination, transportation, slaughtering, veterinary activities. Yearly, the food system trades uh, from farm to table about 6.5 million pigs, 70 million chicken, and 800 million eggs coming from 19 provinces. So daily, we have uh, roughly 400,000 operating transactions. In the system, there are more than 3,000 farms, 600 trading agents, and 850 more than trade outlet, with uh, 26 retail uh, traditional market, and also uh, 19 veterinary authorities and food safety department involved. What difference did it make? Well, uh, in 2017, uh, there were numbers of the illegal water pumping and using drugs cases were discovered by authorities using the food system. Maybe you still remember in August 2017, uh, Central Authority of Vietnam has found 3,700 pigs which were injected with drugs and to prepare for water pumping in uh, An Ha Slaughter House in Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, we support the authority with the detailed information about each pig and people who involved in each step of supply chain. In 2017, 2018, we still have many similar cases to support authorities, but uh, it comes less and less after each year. We cannot uh, catch all cases but we send very strong message to everyone that if we found one piece of the contaminated meat, we can trick back in full supply chain for a few minutes with the detailed information. How many pigs, where they are now, who, what, when, why. So all of the information are in blockchain forever. It means bad people shall think twice or more if they want to do any illegal activity. So how do the stakeholders provide and share information among the system? Uh, actually, all information belongs to the government of Ho Chi Minh City, but uh, each participant can own and use its own information for daily business activity. Supply chain also share common tracing information to accept shipment and cross-check. Uh, authorities, they use the system to control food, sa food safety and animal disease and logistic transportation. How do you ensure the credibility of the information? The system was designed according to Vietnam regulation about uh, husbandry law, veterinary law, food safety regulations and government requests about traceability. The big data contributed by stakeholders can provide so-called black list about the unusual cases to send to the authorities or supply chain automatically or by request. In the next year, we plan to apply AI for epidemic forecast. Do you have data of how difference it make before and after applying it? During ASF, uh, the Ho Chi Minh City authorities use T-Food to control disease. The consumption of pork meat in supermarket has just pumped up, up to more than 20%, comparing with the 50% before. So it clearly shows that consumer trust traceable, traceable uh, product. So eventually, who are the beneficiaries of this system and who should pay for that? Uh, you will be surprised, uh, all supply chain authority and consumer get benefit from traceability activity. But in the end, customers pay the traceability expenses. The supply chain only pay in advance the cost, but get back from the sales and even can make good profit for applying traceability. For example, in Ho Chi Minh City, the farm to table traceability service cost under half dollars per one pig with 70 kilogram meat in a retail sale. I'm very sure that every consumer in the world can pay for such little cost.
What are the challenges in implementing this technology in farm, in food industry? It could be uh, done well if uh, the authority and supply chain want to implement together. The education and marketing are very important, but uh, can solve effectively with online platform. The technical barrier are not issue anymore as a smartphone and 3G, 4G internet become available in everywhere. So if I have a company that is producing food in feed farm food model, and I want to establish an internal traceability system, what would be the cost and what can I gain from it? We provide internal traceability service as well. The cost depends on what you would like to achieve. Is it about controlling all of our activities or preventing disease? How big and complicated is your supply chain? What do you want to show to consumers and authorities? So on. But in any case, the cost of internal traceability is also the part of the cost for production management and marketing costs. And this cost, in my opinion, is quite affordable, even for small farm and small supply chain. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Dr. Trung, for your answers and for your very clear explanation about traceability program. Thank you very much for talking with you and have a good day. Blockchain technology can help livestock producers control diseases and improve food safety and efficiency in their production chains. Thank you for listening to another Asian Agribiz podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the show on Spotify, Apple Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. And see you again in our next shows.